in order of the approaching end of our diploma thesis radio hacking and its completion, the team decided to make a short informative introductory video on the topic. Therefore, welcome to our documentary about radio wave technology. Before we start, we would like to clarify who we are, what we do, why we do what we do, and where we are located. Our team consists of three people, Emin Sabovic, the head of our project, Lucas Brunhuber, and Armin Kaufman, that's me. All three of us are attendants of the HDL in Hollerbrunn, which is located in Austria, more specifically in Lower Austria, and in fact, right here. Austria, by the way, is a very beautiful country to visit and has many spots worth exploring, such as the Vienna State Opera, where Tom Cruise filmed MI5. But that's a little off topic anyway. We're currently in the fifth grade, which is the last one to surpass and hence also work in our thesis, which is mandatory. Out of many different projects that we could choose from, we picked radio hacking because it is a huge topic in the current state of technology and seemed very appealing to us. Our department, which is named Electronics and Information Technology, starts with repetitions of basic knowledge that you acquired in secondary school and also slowly introduces you to the world of programming and hardware development. Once you passed, mathematic professors will try to teach you how to calculate with complex numbers. You will also be taught how to correctly measure values such as voltage, powers or currents of objects without endangering the people around you. The basics of communication, particularly wireless communication and how you derive mathematical functions, will be educational material of the third form. After that, you are confronted with solving differential equations and advanced courses of communication technologies, programming and even more hardware development. The fifth grade withholds a few more new technical courses, but apart from that, you're mostly repeating the things you've learned and you're also preparing for the forthcoming A-levels. Finally, the school gives you many possible job sectors to work in and also allows a potential university education. So, now, what is radio hacking then? Well, as the name implies, it's got something to do with radio waves, which are defined as electromagnetic waves with frequencies under 3 gigahertz, and hacking, which we'll explain a bit later. In our project, however, we're mostly dealing with so-called ISM frequencies. Those are signals whose frequencies are explicitly specified and have a rather small bandwidth. Cars, for example, ignoring a few exceptions, are using the ISM band at 433 MHz, which has a comparably small bandwidth of 1,74 MHz. UHF, which is the shortcut for ultra-high frequencies, includes all ISM signals starting at 300 MHz and ending at approximately 3 GHz. So far, so good. So there is majorly two things that we do with those ISM signals. Either jam them, or replay them. Where jamming is fairly easy, replaying in our concept is a quite elastic term and can actually get very complex very quickly. Nevertheless, both methods of hacking are very effective and must not be underestimated. Jamming sounds fairly simple, but what it practically speaking does is deepen any receiver within reach. This, however, has a crucial impact on any system that uses radio wave technology for communication. Imagine yourself leaving your car heading into the supermarket, locking it without looking back or checking, and when you come back, everything you had in your car is gone. Sounds terrible, unrealistic even, yet is easily achieved by jamming in the right frequency band. Simply because your key fob signal more or less drowns in noise and your car doesn't receive or hear any lock command. 